Hey guys, it's Jeremiah, Stone Blue Airlines. We are out testing the Ranger EX. I've got it finished up. FPV gear is not completely finished, but I got kind of anxious and I wanted to get in the air and just see how she flies. So I've got most of the FPV gear just thrown inside. Nothing's plugged up. Uh, everything's kind of just test fitted and checked out. I did go ahead and laminate the wings. I've seen online some guys were talking about uh, the wings not being stiff enough. It's got a nice carbon spar and if you laminate EPO, it really gets extremely stiff and adds some rigidity to it. Um, didn't do a full wrap on the back side. I definitely could do that, add another sheet if you want to. That'll make it uh, nice and strong. I did the same thing to my rear control surface. And uh, this is the initial setup. So plan to have a pan tilt possible camera underneath and uh, my video gear hanging out the back somewhere so this is just an initial test check CG make sure everything's good and uh, I think we're ready to give it a maiden so no FPV on this flight but we're gonna just see how everything works hopefully get in the air get it trimmed and then she'll be ready for the uh, official FPV uh, uh, install after this so let's get in the air All right, so when you're ready to maiden the aircraft, especially if you're gonna get into FPV, it's always a good idea to maiden it first. Make sure you get it trimmed out. I know some of the guys will just toss in the air, get it kind of partially flying, and then jump onto the hood. You can trim better FPV once it's kind of dialed in, but for an initial flight to make sure everything operates, it's also a good idea to make sure you test your gear on the ground. So the next go around, once we get the FPV gear inside, we'll get it in the air, we're gonna test FPV, make sure from the ground side everything's working, and then I'll go ahead and jump onto the goggles. Uh, but for today, we're just gonna do an actual maiden of the aircraft, get it trimmed, make sure it flies right so I kinda know what it's doing in the air, and then we'll get some FPV stuff. So, all right, enough talking, let's fly. Are you kidding me? What the heck? Okay, so apparently she's got some torque induced roll, so I'm gonna have to counter. Thank you, Cher. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to counter uh, the torque roll by changing the aileron setup and trimming. Um, I think it's right. It's not wanting to go right for me. Uh, sorry, no, left. It's not wanting to bank left. I had to induce rudder to get it to roll over. So we'll have to make that change and then get it back over the air and I should have enough control. That's what I was fighting to get off the ground is I couldn't keep it stable and that was why, I, even though I had a lot of aileron control, I didn't have enough to counter out the, uh, the torque. So see what happens on the next go. How's it flying? It flies pretty good, yeah. I mean, it's different, it's big.
All right, little trimming and uh, the plane is flying good now. Uh, it's pretty responsive in the air. It's definitely uh, feels like a gentle giant up there. And for most of the cruising, I just was maybe a hair over half throttle. So excited to get some FPV gear in here and add a little bit more battery weight for a little longer flight time. So uh, time to finish building. All right, guys, we are back again with the Ranger EX. Uh, we've made a couple little modifications. Um, documentation is not perfect. It's good. Uh, but did find out that you really need to run this thing on 4S. My understanding on the documentation is, yes, you could run on 3S. That's not a problem. Uh, we were saying that it wasn't quite enough get up and go. So I went ahead and changed out for my Emacs motor that also is pushing the Chimera aircraft that I sell. Uh, it's just a beefier motor. It can also push the same prop size, but it's a higher KV. So we should get a little bit more thrust out of this. Shouldn't have any issues and can still run on 3-cell. Can also go to four cell, we could prop it down, go to four cell and it'd be a screaming beast. Doesn't really need that for this plane. Um, the other thing we also ran into is uh, the motor mount, although it's good, it did need a little bit of uh, tweaking. And what we ended up doing is pulling it apart and putting goop inside to just kind of house everything, keep it from moving. We found with the other motor, it had a little bit more torque and it wanted to spin uh, the uh, motor mount plate. Um, I think other than that, everything else is pretty good on the aircraft. One last little tidbit, uh, we're still messing with the Tornado. I'm not extremely pleased with it so far. We've had another issue with the current sensor on this. And in my opinion, I think they released it prematurely. One, for the fact that I've had to do three updates. Uh, I don't know if the fourth update is out as of yet. I have yet to check. One, they're not easy to get. Uh, and then two, you kind of have to hunt for them. Uh, the current update should hopefully fix and go from metric to standard so I can do miles an hour, airspeed indication that way. But the current center, sensor uh, decided to die on us yesterday. So um, I'm gonna get it up in the air, we're gonna fly it again line of sight, get it back down. I'm gonna see if I can just hack the FPV and we'll just get it working for today. Might have to change the system. Ideally I wanted it for long range, but the tornado's really, in my opinion, has kind of become a turd. <laughs> That's kind of our term over here. If it doesn't really work and we have to keep fighting with it, it just gets labeled the turd. So um, we'll see what happens. I, I like uh, the storm, uh, but the tornado is just, well, we'll see what happens with it. I've got to get it updated again and kind of fiddle with it, but I get kind of tired of messing with stuff. It really shouldn't come out of the box and not have to be updated three or four times to get stuff working. So um, enough about that. Let's get the Ranger in the air. Yeah, that, that power plant on a three cell, much, much, much better, much better. On a four cell, I mean? Uh, no, 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 I'm saying this uh, this is system, this new motor on here on a three cell is, is good. second maiden um, so we got full flaps I see the flaps are dropping down I had the wrong setting on here yeah with full flaps she definitely can slow down also helps her just to kind of poke along in the air um, I'm pretty happy with it she feels good this motor combo is good so if you're running 3s and you get the stock setup um, you can either buy just the kit I sell those I'm thinking that just the basic kit might be the way to go because I saw an ESC combo with the motor for 3S that you can run 3 or 4S. And man, on 3S, it's still got plenty of power. If we went 4S, this sucker would be, man, it just really would have some get up and go. But that's not what this plane is meant to do. It's really just meant to soar, have some good times, and uh, go for some distance. So we'll continue to work on this, get the FPV going, and then hopefully get some range flying in. All right, we'll get it back in the air.
All right, guys, as we wrap up the Ranger EX review, we haven't gone to every single detail. You've seen the unboxing, you've seen a lot of flight footage, you've seen me flip it over. Well, what we found is there needs to be a few modifications on the Ranger depending on where you're flying. First and foremost is the wheels. They're just not big enough. Uh, we found this out because it just seems to stall on the grass. It's got a little bit of nose weight on the front due to the way the thing is set up. And even if it's shifted back, you really need that. The wheels end up dragging in the grass and you end up kind of tipping over. Um, also found out it's got torque roll. So we needed to address that. That was part of the issue on taking off. Um, once you get that kind of stuff dialed in, the Ranger is a great platform. I am recommending getting just the basic kit. Uh, again, I run a lot of 3S and I like the option, especially for my guys running stuff and people who are buying this kit, get a motor set up if you want to run 3S or 4 and we've got that motor combo. Just go with the basic kit, upgrade the servos, upgrade everything else because it really is a solid aircraft, a lot of carrying payload capacity um, and it's just, it's stable in the air. You're probably wondering why we haven't seen a lot more FPV. Well guys, we're going to share something with you. It's in the Skunk Works hangar right now. It's been going through some... Uh, I don't know, updates per se. Uh, we've updated the landing gear, updated the wheels, and we're gonna show you some secret footage here of what we've got, uh, what we've been working on. Uh, Matt's had some really cool ideas and we're gonna incorporate and you're gonna see a lot more of this in upcoming episodes. So enjoy the footage and we'll see you on the next episode.